clothes may make the man, but what if man can make clothes the light? That's just one of many innovations here at North Carolina State University's College of Textiles, the only one of its kind in the country. This polyester fabric is embedded with aluminum oxide, which transforms it into an LED light. So you can turn polyester into a light? Emitting material, yes, that's correct. How do you do that? Okay, uh, so when we infiltrate aluminum or aluminum oxide in these materials, we change the microstructure of these polymers and the electrons are excited by the uh, pot, uh, photons coming to the material and that way they're glowing uh, when, uh, when they're exposed to UV light. Fabric that generates its own light could be used to read a health monitor built into the fabric, say one that records your blood pressure or heart rate. You can imprint text into the fabric as well. And not only can it generate light, it can generate power using your own body heat. It is possible to collect about 10 watts of power from a human body. This team of researchers is part of ASSIST, the advanced self-powered systems of integrated sensors and technologies. They're designing wearable, self-powered electronics built right into the fabric. We're trying to redefine the healthcare system and what we think about it what we think about healthcare so and how and how people manage their personal wellness so we create platforms for monitoring what's going on inside your body and we try to correlate that to what's going on outside your body so who can benefit from these e textiles well for one asthma sufferers who could wear an ozone detector as well as get a constant readout of an electrocardiogram that monitors their heart there's a correlation with ozone levels and exacerbation of asthma. Um, so what we want to develop is a system that can monitor your ECG, a full ECG sign uh, signal, along with uh, ozone sensors that can monitor your personal ozone levels um, and be able to basically predict when an asthma attack is going to occur. And power it off your own body. Exactly. But how do you harvest your own body's energy? Well, that's what these students are working on. There's special materials, they're called thermoelectric materials, that can create electricity based on the heat that your body produces. Um, another class of materials is called piezoelectric materials, where you could actually harvest electricity based on the movement or the friction between uh, layers of fabric on your clothing and things like that. Um, people that are very active, uh, you could have these um, systems where, yeah, it's like a, a, a elbow sleeve or something and as you walk as you just do your normal movements you're generating power that can that can power sensors all over your body. With this research just getting started one of the first things they're trying to find out is what areas of the body are best to capture energy. We want to be able to, to create a total body map of the amount of energy that you can create in different environments, different scenarios, um, and different activity levels. Using your body to power health monitors means you won't have to worry about your batteries running out. They still run out, they still need to be recharged. The main goal is long-term personal monitoring. You know, imagine you know, all you have to do is, is wake up in the morning and put your clothes on and you're automatically streaming health information to your cell phone uh, that you can use to make lifestyle adjustments and you know, be, be healthier. Can you make a shirt that when I put it on, I lose 10 pounds? <laughs> I, I'm an electrical engineer, but uh, Jess over here says that we can. So uh, I, I'm sure we'll be putting in a grant to get some money for that research awesome. very soon. Imagine the sales from that kind of shirt. Researchers here believe clothing with built-in health monitors will eventually be a big seller. With help from a Chancellor's Innovation Fund grant, they hope to bring certain aspects of this to market by 2015. Textiles, once a mainstay of North Carolina's economy, took a big hit from overseas manufacturing. But with these new developments, along with breakthroughs in non-woven fabric, NC State is reinventing the textile industry. In North Carolina, textiles is a resurging industry. A lot of research and development, especially in textiles like uh, non-wovens, uh, is, is centered here in the United States. So this, this in the College of Textiles, we're really the epicenter for that 
uh, for that growth. And a great place to get a jump start in this groundbreaking industry. Not students who are smarty pants, but students making smart pants. I went into this initially um, from the aspect that I wanted to work for, um, work with protective materials uh, for the military and things like that. So the, the type of materials that I work with have applications in that arena. Um, so that's, that's sort of what drove my passion towards it. Did you ever think that you would be uh, designing materials that could harvest energy from your own body? Not when I started, no. I, I started in the field of textiles uh, in 2005 when, was, when I started my undergrad and my, my research interests and passions have changed and, and morphed a lot since then, but this is a, a very exciting field to be in now. Another area of innovation? Capturing wasted heat and turning it back into power. Jur says nearly 50% of heat is wasted by escaping from, say, hot water or heating pipes. They've developed a technology to capture that heat by embedding a thermoelectric power generating device into fabric. That can be inserted into standard insulation. This operates by having you place one side up against a hot surface and you have the, the other side exposed to a cold surface. This generates a, this generates a, uh, a power. What we've done is we've reconstructed that thermoelectric device into printed materials that we can print onto textiles, such as this non-woven right here. Uh, and so you have a hot side here and then you expose this to a cold surface. Our idea is that we can actually use, uh, put, put this into insulation uh, you can actually go and lay this hot side up against the steam pipe. You can generate a power. Technologies like this have enormous potential, but require years of roll up your sleeves and get to work research. They have to follow strict guidelines for embedding monitors in clothing that people will wear. But that's just part of their job, to come up with fabric innovation that will knock your socks off. Uh, if you can imagine uh, never having to search for your power cord or plug in your, your cell phone or your laptop battery again. It's just notifications on in filters, let's say, that to, to let somebody know when, when that filter needs to be changed and there's actually an optical transmission or when a baby's diaper needs to be changed, let's say. So it may be true that clothes make the man, but it's the goal of researchers here that clothes make the man healthier. If we could have this continuous stream of health information, environmental information, uh, not only could people adjust their activities to be healthier, but it could provide a wealth of information to the doctors, um, which could help them diagnose chronic illnesses and uh, things of that sort.